Okay, now we're going to add another very useful tool to our 3JS project, and that's called the dat.gui. That's this thing at the top right here. It's a menu. It's a very minimal include that you can add to your project that allows you to interact with the scene. For example, I can change the material color of this teapot. I'm changing the hue there. Saturation and lightness. And you can set this up to point to the various properties, whichever you want in your project. So at the end, your project will look like this. It'll be the green cube, and you can change the X, Y, Z rotation and the camera Z axis. And that's just the beginning of the dat.gui. It's used in hundreds of places throughout 3JS and also many other projects on the web that aren't 3JS also. So anyway, if you go to your project and if we open up the node modules folder there, go down to three and go into examples, JSM, libs, there is dat.gui.module.js there. We will import that into our project. So go to the top of client TS import GUI from JSM libs dat dot GUI dot module. Okay, save that. Now those three dots say that it can't find the type definition file. 3JS in this version doesn't provide a type definition file unlike it does for the stats module down there. So we can get that from the internet if we like. Control C just to stop that npm install types that dot gui enter okay so if i go up to the top of the node modules folder now and just refresh that in types there'll be a new one called dat gui and that's the index dts there we'll create a reference to that okay so open up ts config here in the client project and we'll add a new path that points JSM libs dat GUI module to copy path or relative path dat dot GUI. Press save. Go back into client TS. Press F1 restart TS server. And it has now found a reference. We have just told our IDE in the TypeScript compiler which type definition file to use when it sees that import. Okay. Now, also another thing you might be asking is why I didn't put curly braces around stats, but I did for GUI and Orbit controls. Now, stats has a default export. If I look at the type definition for stats and go down to the bottom, it says export default stats. Okay, so that's what we're seeing here. But the DAT GUI module doesn't have a default export. So if I go to the type definition for that and just minimize all the exports, there are four exports, but none of them are set as default. So we have to explicitly say we want GUI or GUI controller and GUI control doesn't matter. So when you see those curly braces, that's what you are seeing, a reference to a specific class within the module. Okay, excellent. So here we can see that GUI is declared, but its value is never read. So let's start using the GUI. So down the bottom here after stats, let's create a new GUI. So const GUI equals a new GUI or GUI. Just quickly to show you, in this example, I'm using the animate loop. So down here, I'm starting animate. And in the animate loop, I'm calling render with stats update, just like that. So right at the beginning, I was rotating the cube in the animate loop. We can actually rotate the cube using the GUI. So that is GUI.add, the target being cube.rotation. The property needs to be a string is X. It will also use that as the name, the control in the GUI by default. The minimum value I want to be zero and the maximum value math dot pi times two that's the same as saying 360 degrees the rotation needs radians there says radians so i'm just saying math.py times two okay so save that let's start that npm run dev we have one problem which i'll show but that's started up okay so if i refresh that 
Okay, so there is a problem. F12 to open up the development tools console. It can't find JSM libstat GUI module. That's because we haven't told our Node.js server what that means when the client asks. So open up server TS and we'll add a new static path to the dat GUI module JS. So when the server is asked for this, JSM libstat GUI module. Press dot static dot GUI dot module dot JS. So when the client asks for JSM libstat GUI module from the server, using the import, the server will return this node modules, for example, JSM libstat GUI module JS. Control S. Okay, now refresh. And there we go. I don't need that anymore. That's our GUI at the top right. We have one control and I can move that like that and control the object in the scene. Very good. We can control more than just X. So client TS. Let's add the rotations for Y and Z. X, Y, Z, control S to save. Refresh and there we go, X, Y, Z. Very good. Now, looking at this more sophisticated example on 3JS examples, it has folders. These things that open and close are called folders. So we can add our own folders as well. So instead of doing that, we can say const cube folder equals GUI dot add folder needs a string cube. And instead of adding our controls or our sliders to the GUI, we add them to the cube folder instead like that refresh okay and I now have a folder for cube now it's closed by default so you can say cube folder dot open like that and it's open by default now now we can also add multiple folders as you can see in this example okay so let's add another folder cons camera folder equals GUI dot add folder camera camera folder dot add the target camera dot position camera dot position the z property minimum being zero 10 units like that control s let's have a look f5 i now have a new control for camera which is close and that modifies the z axis like that so let's make that open by default so camera folder dot open F5 and now the camera folder is open by default. Now there's quite a lot of other options with the dat.gui there and I use the dat.gui quite a lot throughout the remainder of the course so you'll see many more different ways of using it. For example, we can set the step so 0.01 for example. I'll do that also for the camera zoom and we can see now that I'm stepping and you can also slide that sideways if you want more control over the slider all right so that code is on the documentation highlighted in yellow the import gui const gui new gui and i'm using the animate loop there that's the reference for the server js and some notes about ts config where i have added the reference for the ide and the typescript compiler because this current version that I'm using of 3JS doesn't include a TypeScript definition for that GUI module. Excellent. And there we go. That's what you should have at the end of that lesson. Excellent. In the next lesson, we'll talk more about imports, the different ways of using imports in 3JS and in TypeScript in general. Okay, excellent.